I'm just having a look for the uh, Bible of the day. And I've got a look and I'm going to go to the on the road to, to the mouth. And uh, a few things come to me which I hadn't really fully realised before or understood. And it was uh, it was about Jesus when Jesus came up to them and walked along with them. And then they didn't know who he was, did they? But it's interesting that it's, it says that they were kept from recognising him. So that's important, that's important to understand. And then further on after the conversation, he said, How foolish are you, and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Christ have to suffer things and then enter into the glory? And uh, that's all it goes on to say. And after you tell them that, uh, the eyes were opened. For, for later on in the day, their eyes were opened and recognized them. And he disappeared from their sight, so he kept appearing and disappearing just instantly, uh, like materialized in a, in a click of a finger here or there and everywhere through doors off in the locked rooms and everything. And, uh, and and they turned to each other and asked, were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures up to us? So now we, again we have the unveiling and the revealing uh, when the Lord allows it to come forth. So they only recognized uh, because he let them see. They only recognized and understood the scriptures because he let them see. And he only recognized and let them see him because he, because he let them. And, uh, and later on Jesus appears to his disciples. And it said, uh, suddenly the Lord stood among his disciples and they were terrified, thinking they'd seen a ghost. And Messiah said to them, why are you alarmed? Why? Why are these doubts coming up in your mind? Look at my hands and feet, for a ghost doesn't have flesh and bones. As you can see, I have. And now we have the confirmation that Messiah was raised in the flesh. He was flesh and bone. He wasn't raised as a spirit, he was raised as f in flesh and bone. And he showed them his hands and feet and they were full of joy and wonder. Um, and he gave them a bit of, something to eat and, and they ate in, the, in his presence and Messiah ate as well. And he said to them, these are the very things that I told you about while I was still with you. And everything written about me in the law of Moses, the writing of the prophets and the Psalms have come true. And then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. So as you can see, what <coughs> there was a lot of uh, misunderstanding amongst the believers in that generation because the Lord hadn't let them see. And, uh, and this is why they became fearful and and they, when Jesus was, was uh, resurrected, he told them, he told them in advance of everything. And they didn't really get it until they could get them. <laughs> uh, and then we go on. Uh, and then he told them, I myself will send upon you what my father's promise, but you must wait until the power from above comes down. Uh, 
and they goes on. Um, then they worshipped him and went back to Jerusalem, filled with great joy. And uh, and they spent all their time in the temple, giving thanks to God. And, and they have the, the spiritual application of everything. There's a, there's a, a, a written testimony of everything that occurred with the spiritual uh, application to it as well. Because in our temples we're giving thanks to the Lord night and day, praising and working with night and day. <laughs> as they were in Revelation, as it tells us. And this, this is the plan for the Father, for, for us to do this. And this is how we get filled. We get filled with the fullness of everything because the Father is letting us see. And that truth is already within us, it, it, is, it is within all believers, but most of us don't see. <laughs> and it's because of, uh, well, let's go back to what Messiah said to them. Uh, he said, well, why do you doubt? How foolish, slow of heart to believe. And that, that is, in a way, that is us, slow in heart, foolish, to believe that Messiah is in you, is in us. And we have to accept it and walk in it. it and we've, we're going to speak this over and over again because this is the... The, the true blessings for the sons and daughters to be aware and to have the the fullness and the revealing and the unveiling of Messiah within each person. <laughs> and but so those of us that have been slow to heart to believe it are more than that. The, the only recently I come to, I got the confirmation of that. That's because my Messiah's let me see. And this is why we have to keep on. And as Andrew says, we we have to spend all our time studying, seeking, knocking and asking. And, uh, and we will see. And all will be revealed. All will be unveiled and revealed to every one of us. And as I've said in other videos, we will eventually see Messiah as he is. As we go into the fullness of Christ, because we are one with the Father, with Christ, with the Church, we are all one, one spirit, one purpose, one thought. And him dwelling in us, we will know all things. So I feel really interested how how uh, our people are from recognizing Messiah. And we've been, many of us have been recon recognizing Messiah within us. And uh, now that we believe it, the fullness of it can come forward, the fullness of Messiah can step forward and, and, and sprout and grow. And then people will be able to see. <laughs> They'll be able to see the Messiah in you, brothers and sisters. And um, I know we're having a little bit of a disagreement at the moment with Andrew, but there are times we have to s we have to stand up against things, and it's not our nastiness or uh, pride or, or trying to be right. It's because we have to take a stand for for the Messiah for our king, for, for our ruling king, and for Christ in us, who is here now. And we have to take a stand for that against those who are speaking against it, because they themselves haven't had it revealed yet. Peace and love, peace and love.